Oh, I just, I document myself going out to hunt for treasures. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Good morning, lovely people. It's your boy Tim from over the years. We are live in the motorcade. Um, it is Friday. We are about ready to hit up an estate sale, a yard sale, pick up a piece of glass on Facebook Marketplace, and then uh, I think two thrift stores. So I got this guy back in action and hopefully I can get some better footage while I am doing the actual hunting for treasures for you guys um, so hopefully that works out if not I tried but uh let's hit the row ad it's time for a road trip road trip We just parked at the first estate sale. Hopefully there's something good in here because I need some time to kill. So let's strap up and see what we can find. Tell my mom I tried to tell you your own first. I'll get in trouble. Last week I went to a yard sale. I said, yes, he told you, but no. I didn't get that house to do it. Just don't call my mom. Pretty good about yourself, Pretty good. Don't call her. Uh -huh. Mom. You got more stuff up Yes. Okay. Don't go in any rooms with an X. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So everything with an X on. Yeah. yeah. If it's got a room or if it's got blue tape.
doesn't have a silver mark. No, same right there. Yeah. This is pewter. Yeah. This has got some markings on it too. EPNS. Electric electroplated nickel silver. Yeah. Oh, I just, I document myself going out to hunt for treasures. Okay. <laughs> to all the cool things I get, can find. And then I just make a little video of it. How much on this piece? This ashtray. Yes, ma'am. Keep try to keep separate your three stuff. Oh, this is outside? Yeah. This, this was yeah, outside these two and this one were outside. Were they in that box? Yes, ma'am. Okay, those are the pretty ones. Okay. So, right now you're. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How much on the teapot and the sugar bowl, man? Take your time. Sorry. This, I didn't see the. Creamer, I just saw the sugar in the teapot. I don't see it anywhere else. No, you're fine, no worries. You got your hands full. All right. So this was from that size. Five. Five. Six, seven. And then I'm gonna get the cute little uh, dog too. Eight. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Twenty. A twenty. Yes, ma'am. It was eight. Yes, ma'am. Starting to get a little. Nine, ten. A little hot out there now. It's just a little warm in the sun. Yeah. yeah. These things don't make it. Oh. <laughs> Trust me, I know. To make it free. Yeah, you got that beard probably not helping a whole lot. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it, ma'am. Yeah. Is it possible to trouble you for any paper? If not, it's okay, I understand. No, um, paper. There is. Oh, oh right here. Yeah, he was you Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You have Thank a lovely you. day, okay? You too. Um. Pardon me, sir.
The glass can at twenty one, two dollars for these, so it's twenty three total. Yes, sir. Everything's packed. Appreciate you. This glass will just be careful. Cash or what's easier for you? Cash is fine. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You all have a lovely day. You too. Enjoy. Yes. All right. Thank you once Thank again. You. you too. <laughs> it wasn't going.
All right, so we are done for the day. We hit up an estate sale, a yard sale slash estate sale. Uh, picked up a piece of glass from Facebook Marketplace inside of an indoor flea market. And then went to an antique mall and then went to two thrift stores. So I did my best with the GoPro. It's obviously a learning curve for me. Um, so I needed to use a different backpack because it doesn't really work well with this backpack, the strap and just the way the backpack fits. And I need to make sure I place it in the right place because my beard gets in the way of the GoPro. So I tried my best guys, but hopefully tomorrow when we go to the flea market, I can get some better footage. But now let's go take a look at what we got and that's it. So I'll see you guys back at the laboratory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to see what we picked up. So it was kind of an all over day. Uh, I'm not even really quite sure how much of the GoPro footage is usable. So if you're seeing this right now at like two minutes, then that means not a lot of it was usable. If you're seeing this at like 10 minutes into the video, then it means I got a good amount that was usable. I, I just, this is my first time using the backpack strap. The backpack that I used, like I told you guys earlier, it just was not like the best for the strap. It just... It's bad. And then my beard was all in the GoPro. So like I have to keep it at a certain level. I don't know. I got to figure it out. But anyways, and then I had to be back at a certain time because I got to go to the post office. And I have a special collaboration with another YouTuber. So you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and just go over the first place I went to um, was a complete bust. There's absolutely I didn't find anything there. It was just like tools and furniture i mean nothing against tools I, i've but like these weren't like i don't know it just wasn't it wasn't done right it was like an estate sale and it was like mostly furniture it was like two out of the like 10 rooms in the house it was just really weird so i drove to the next yard sale and there was no early birds i was there 30 minutes early so i waited in the car fun stuff um but i i um was it worth the wait it was i think so Okay. Um, I probably could have gotten a little, couple of other things, but I don't know. I was kind of trying to be selective. But they had a free box, which was awesome. I didn't even know it was free, but it was free box. So I picked up uh, this Sony remote for free. And I'll probably get like five, ten bucks for that. This is a Tiger game from back in the day called Lights Out. So I'll put some batteries in there and test it, clean it up. But this should give me like 10, 15 bucks. So that's like 20 bucks from the free bag, bag, box. And I got these bad boys. Oh, where are they from? Geno's. Oh my God. Everybody goes to Geno's. So, Geno's is the place to go. go ahead. <laughs> is that a song? That was a, it was an ad. But um, is Geno's here. That. Gino's here. Yeah. yeah, but this could be Geno's from Geno's in Philadelphia, the cheesecake, be. cheesecake place. But I've sold a Geno's ashtray before, but it was plastic. These are metal. metal, And it's two of them. So pretty rad. <sighs> Hold on one second. <sighs> Sorry for the interruption. Sometimes things get a little crazy here at my Duke's house with my nephew, my sister, home renovation. Bullshit in general. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the Geno's Astro is pretty awesome. All right. So, I got one other thing from this three box. I don't know. It's wrapped up, though. But I did get this really nice piece of Wedgwood Jasperware diamond shaped That's interesting. tray. Yeah, $1. Oh, boy. Never go wrong with $1. Oh, this came out the free box. National Airlines. Huh. And the back says, I'm Bill. Fly me. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, these um, airline stuff does really well. I can't remember who I was watching. But somebody was saying that, like, back in the day, they used to use... They used to have, like, really nice china on airplanes. 
Yeah. I mean, this is just obviously like a more of an advertising piece, but National Airlines doesn't exist anymore. Mm. So like, it's good, you know, and it's free. I mean, it's got tons of crazy on it, but it's kind of cool crazy. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to look that up. I didn't even look it up. I just saw National Airlines and it was free, so cool beans. Next up is another one of those Burger King glasses that I sold. Mm. This was also a dollar. Now I can't remember if this is because last time when we had them, I only had three, and there's a four in a set, and the one that was missing was the most valuable one. It was either red or orange, so I can't remember. Huh. But I'll find out when I'm done comping. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, so first up is this creamer. Now, I bought the creamer and the teapot. They didn't, I mean the sugar bowl. They didn't have the creamer, but look at this. And then it says something in the back, which I don't really know. Let's see, wampum, bells, and strings and pouches. <laughs> but it's made by Royal Dalton. Super old. I mean, this thing's got tons of crazy, but it is a super interesting piece. And you can see the Royal Dalton mark. Can you see it? Move it in a little. There you go. Yeah. So this is an amazing piece right here. Not quite sure of the value. I didn't even look it up. I just saw the Royal Dalton. Saw that it had some age and it was in good condition and it was cheap, so I got it. All right, we're back. So it's been a long afternoon of interruptions. I had to run to the post office and then I had to do a interview with another reseller, one of my favorite channels. I'm super stoked about that. Can't wait for it to come out. I bet you guys wanna know who it is, but I can't tell you. You'll have to wait and see. It's going to be awesome. So, I believe we were left off. We were, were we talking about this fabulous. So, I might have hit the jackpot. This is a super, from what I, I know right now, this is a super rare pattern made by Royal Dalton. And based on... The stamp, the back mark, uh, the back stamp, whatever you would like to call it, and there's also a, a number on there. That tells me that this was made somewhere, I believe, in between 1902 and 1922, or 1922 to 1927, somewhere along those lines. Um, there is it, this is super hard stuff to find so i i'm not going to try and butcher the name of the native american gentleman on the which the pattern is named after it begins with an h though hawawith i believe hiawatha hiawatha that's the name of the pattern from what i can tell um i was eight there's a lot of plates out there like this and the plates run for a lot of money. I saw one example of the sugar bowl. And the example that I saw is only sold for $71. But I could not find this teapot anywhere. Nor could I not even just like find it like on like worth points or replacements or eBay. I mean, there's nobody is even talking like... Jay, just just no mention of it in my my Google research. So I am going to reach out to somebody who I know in the Royal Dalton world in hopes of getting some sort of answer. If I don't find an answer, I might just put it up for two thousand. What? <laughs> Amber Ruffin's mouth. And, see, and, and see what happens. Oh, you have a low battery, AJ. Oh, Timothy. Thanks. Got it. So, 
I that I think is the last thing that I picked up at that yard sale. So I, for that, those two pieces, I want to say I can't remember. It's been such a long day. I either paid five dollars or eight dollars for those two. Oh, and also I did some research on this guy. Did we talk about this guy? Uh, I think we did. We did. But this cup sells for like thirty to sixty dollars. It's pretty awesome. All right, so yeah, that was everything. I got the mug, the ashtrays, the two electronic things, the Burger King cup. Oh, the Wedgwood piece and the Royal Dalton. Okay. So then from there, I went to the place that was started this whole adventure today. So I saw this woman post this. Oh, man. It's so gorgeous. Look at it in the light. Let me see. Oh, murder. You have to bring the camera over okay. here. Let me okay. take this sticker One, off first. One, two, three. Take this sticker off. Here we go. And this is not even cleaned, ladies and gentlemen. This is fresh off the buy. But look at that in the light. Bring it down, bring it down to where I am. Oh, my God. Look at the cameo. <laughs> look at that. Mm, that is something else. So I saw this piece on on Facebook Marketplace and immediately I was just drawn to its beauty. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I've it's, never seen anything like I've that. never seen anything like this. Uh -huh. That is a deuce. Now, I have no idea what this is, who made it. So, there's pieces of it that all indicate it could be made by this sort of opalescent milk glass cameo right here gives me a very french vibe i think sabino they make they're french right i don't know that one it's i mean it could be sabino, french yes. oh. it could be italian it could be murano i mean it could be english it could be american i mean i have no idea i i did a brief research on it before I bought it, and bring, I saw bring some... that up the bottom. Bring that up to the the flip it over and show the bottom. Look at that. And so I did a brief the cameo. Bring the cameo over. Bring it down, down. There you go. Whoa. Okay. Mm -mm. Look at the light on that sucker. Yeah, I mean. Ugh. And that's a better angle. Do that again. Let that's what I was trying to show you before. I didn't need to get up. I mean, Can you imagine in. what it's going to look like when we clean it? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty clean. I look I at the know. bottom. Oh, okay. It's a little schmutz. <laughs> so, I did a little research on it before I bought it. I saw some similar item pieces. Nobody was able to, like, give an exact maker. A lot of people said it was Italian, Murano. Um, a lot of people just said blue opalescent cameo, but I didn't see any of them that was like this exact piece. I mean, this, this is like, how tall do you think that is? Like 18 inches? At least. So really I picked ruler. this up for, wait, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I picked this up for $35. I'm going to reach out to some people in the glass world and see what they think. And I will let you guys know. So, then the, where I went to pick this up was like an inside flea market consignment store where they had old stuff and new stuff. It was very, like, interesting. But they had a lot of stuff there that was really cheap. So I went ahead and bought some. I think this was six dollars or eight dollars this is fenton and the name of that color is rosaline and i believe that's the lily of lily of the valley pattern it's gorgeous though and it still has the fenton sticker on the inside and it's marked fenton on the bottom <laughs> and then i got this guy this is not uranium glass he had it marked for five he gave it to me for two since it wasn't uranium glass i think I just kind of gave him a whole bunch of stuff. But it's a nice yeah, shoe glass collector. shoe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 15, 20 bucks on that easily. 
And then I picked up this guy. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the pattern is on this. The shape reminds me of the... Of, stretch glass. No, it's not stretch glass. I mean of a piece you had that was in stretch mm -hmm. glass. No, it, it's like the Fenton Holly Carnival glass that we just got. The Marigold, the Compo oh, one. without the Carnival glass. Yeah. Now... Got some scratches in there, but this was too. It's got a crack right here, but it's like those inside cracks. But it was two dollars, and it glows, so I couldn't pass it up. I thought it would be a neat piece for like a beginning uranium glass collector. Yeah. I'll probably get you know like ten bucks for that. I just saw us grabbing stuff at this point in this guy's place, and then I got this guy. Now this is like a, I thought it might have been stretch glass, but the more I look at it, it looks just like a carnival glass. It's What's that pattern? Panel? Pa wide pan? Yeah. I think it might be wide panel by Imperial Glass, but to be honest with you, I've never seen it with the type of the rolling edge on the inside. Mm -hmm. I've seen them flat, but for six bucks, I figured, hey, why not? Nice color. It is. And I mean, like it's a it's it's a big piece too, yeah. but it definitely gives me an, an imperial vibe. Um, it's got a little bit of wear in it, but I mean, I should be able to make money. I'm not worried about that. It's a nice heavy duty piece. So that was everything I picked up while picking up the prize yeah, possession. Yeah. Um, after that, I went to another thrift store and. I struggled to find anything except for this guy. So, I'm always a little weary of buying pieces like this because it it doesn't have a marking on it. Oh, it might underneath this sticker. I paid two dollars and ninety nine cents for this. So I'm always a little weary of these because leery. what? I'm always a little leery. Not weary? No. What does weary mean? Leery means sketchy. Leery? Yeah. Weary means tired. <laughs> leery means kind of sketchy. I, I guess I'm a little weary, tired, because <laughs> I said weary instead of leery. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leery. But yeah, it looks like, a, looks like it could be a repro. Exactly. But yeah. But... If you only paid whatever for two dollars and ninety nine cents for it. Yeah, even if it's a repro. And can... and I mean, I looked it up and I I've seen some of these sell for seventy five to eighty dollars. Now I've all like I said before, it's just I'm just a little sketched out about it. But it might I mean it, it doesn't feel like a repro. A repro, right? No, not really. I mean, the top looks like a repro. The bottom not. Look at that. That's like pottery. Repro won't look like that. A repro would look smoother and nicer, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I think it was. I, I think it's like a like an almost like an ironstone. Yeah. So I'll post it in my Flow Blue group and have them tell me because I just sold that children mug, which picture the milk picture, which I thought wasn't real, and then when I looked it up, looked it up, I showed it to the Flow Blue people. They're like, yeah, that's the real deal. And I just sold that. So this could be a great flip. Yeah. $2.99 to like $80. Yep. So then after that. Oh no, I lied. After the before that and after the flea market, literally right down the corner was an antique store that Josie and I had been to before. And there's a lot of stuff in there that I almost bought. But I did buy this. Now, I paid up a little bit for it, but it's in fabulous condition, as long as I don't mess it up. Yeah. And it has the infuser as well. And I believe this pattern is called Wildfire. Now, I have seen this teapot go for as much as like, you know, 150 bucks. Now, if I can get 100 something dollars for that, I'll be good. I put in $29.99. $30. But I have had great success selling the the Aladdin shape. Aladdin shape, especially in the non-solid colors. Yeah. The solid colors can be a little tricky to sell. 
They must have made a ton of those. Oh my God! Everybody I know that has an Aladdin, it's a black Aladdin. They have so many of them. Yeah. Okay. Black Aladdin, white. So Aladdin, then I went Aladdin. to the thrift store and I got this, and then I went to one more thrift store. Oh wait. The hats. I forgot the hats. I did forget the hats. So I got. I got these three hats at the same place as I got this. Um, nice little trucker hat collection. This one's gonna need to be restored, but it's made in the USA. But the foam is cracking all over. Uh, it says Ducks Unlimited Maryland. Uh, but yeah. What's, your, what's the favorite one that's oh, yeah. made in China? No, it's not made in China. Oh, Mexico, made in Mexico. Yeah. It says America, love it or leave it, but the hat's made in Mexico. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of ironic. Uh, but yeah, somebody will buy this. It's a nice color scheme and you know people, they love their America. So yeah, so I got those three there and then I didn't get any hats at the... I wonder if they can hear you because your back is to the camera. Oh, I forgot about this guy. So we're bouncing all over the place now. I picked up this at the first yard sale where I picked up the Royal Dalton stuff. I'm this is uh, made by Viking Glass. And I'm guessing it's a bookend. You're just missing the other one. Yeah. But I mean, you could still sit it up like that. He still sits up? Sit, yeah. up, sit him up. There you go. So... I don't think it's a him. I think it's a her. It's got bows in his head. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. And so then I went to one more thrift store, and it was also pretty dry. But I picked up this haul. Crocus, I believe is how you how you say it. Yeah, Crocus. Um, yeah, hold it right there. Bring it up. Bring it up. There you go. That's pretty. And the thing I like about buying this haul um these sets like the autumn leaf and the red poppy is when you find it and the the trim is intact pretty mm -hmm. much all the way like you see that silver trim up there like that stuff goes it's like the first thing to go on these bowls but yeah so uh, this was four dollars and 99 cents and then 33 percent off of that i think yeah, you looked, but you didn't find that exact piece, though, did you? No, I did. It's a nine-inch salad bowl, I think. Oh. And so, and then also I picked up a couple of hats while I was there. I picked up these three guys. This one right here I'm probably going to keep for myself. This is the county that I went to schools in. I remember the maintenance workers used to wear this hat. So I think I'm going to keep that for myself. And then I got this. Is the uh, Berkeley Springs State Park? That in Virginia? I don't know. Berkeley Springs. Made in USA hat though. Ye no. famed Warm Springs. Well, interesting. I think there's a resort down there. And then this one right here, which is uh, it looks to be a little. It's definitely got a little bit of age to it. But fashion, the canopy people, I have no idea. I never heard of that. But it's that's, got look this, at the bill on that. Yeah, it's got the scrambled nice. eggs on the bill. So, we'll see. I, uh, I think those are the cool hats. All right, so we might have hit big today. We got this lovely guy, the Flo Blue, and the Royal Dalton. Those are probably the three winner winners chicken dinners. Yeah. yeah. So I'm excited. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, hopefully I can figure out a way to improve the GoPro footage. Uh, it, it was definitely a test out there today. <laughs> Beard cam was not, not official. And then the backpack is just, I tried my best guys. I'm trying to improve and get you guys a little bit more than just me sitting in the room talking. So tomorrow morning, I'm hoping to drag Josie to the flea market. We will see. Uh, but put this video out as soon as I Which get a flea chance. flea market? Um, it's right up there where I was just at today. We can all this stuff. It's called Brumwells, Brumfells. What's what city? It's in Pasadena. In Pasadena. Yeah. Okay. Somebody's got to make a trip to the storage unit, though. Yeah. We're also working on trying to improve our workspace. Yeah. So that's. 
We'll keep you up to date. Yeah, we will keep you up to date. And then uh, we got to do a What's Sold video from this week tomorrow, too. Okay. That'll be fun. It was an okay week. Yeah, we had a pretty decent week. Yeah, not too shabby. All right, thank you guys as always for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.